Hey guys, I'm Vlad Excel and this is part four of strength work for marathon runners. Um, so if you've seen some of my workouts before, you know that we go through four exercises, um, which you're gonna see on the screen here. And we're pretty much gonna do first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and we'll do that non-stop for 15 minutes, um, working for 40 seconds and then having 20 seconds off. So this is a very specific runner's workout where we're gonna target a little bit of our calves, Achilles strength. A lot of people have those injuries that are connected to their feet. So we're definitely gonna be focused on building stronger feet as well as stability in our glutes. So the butt muscles to make sure that we push and we're strong enough when we're doing that. And the core that it keeps everything together. So you don't need anything for today. We are gonna do one exercise on the ground um, so if you have a mat, probably a good time to pause that video and go and get that mat now. If you have a carpet or you don't need a mat, you're good to go. All right, so before I press the timer, first exercise, pretty simple, but I'll do it side on so you can see. I'm gonna have my left foot forward. I'm gonna place it down as a flat foot and go forward, put my weight down, back. So pretty much all I'm doing is I'm transferring my weight to the back then transferring the weight forward and then coming up to my toe for a split second. So exactly what happens when we run, when we explode forward. So we're just getting that motion here. So down, weight on that front foot, not much weight on the back foot anymore. And then just a split second hold. So that other foot, the right foot of the ground. All right, so coming up. So I'm just getting to this, building that calf strength, the foot strength, very, very controlled. So front on, it will look like this. Step, flat foot, forward, weight back on. I'm gonna do that for 40 seconds. So we're gonna start with our left foot forward on the first set. All right, ready, let's go. So right, sorry, left foot forward, coming back. So I'm putting that weight on back foot of the ground, just for a split second here. So we're not looking to go as far as you can onto your toes, side on again. Making sure that you put the foot as flat as you can, then come up, as flat as you can, then come up. So I'm just transferring that weight to build that strength on my calf. So again, one foot on the ground, two reach up. All right, 20 seconds rest. We're gonna go with our right foot forward. Again, same basis, foot on the ground, weight on, and then push up forward, try and balance for a split second. All right, so nice and controlled. Ready, let's go. Just building up that strength and stability, super important when you run for longer distances. You really wanna build a strong base. If you have a strong base, usually the running form stays strong. Combine that with a strong core and you're really doing well. Again, just a split second hold when I get to my toe. Hold, hold. And that weight is all on the front leg. All right, well done. Second exercise. Again, I'm gonna go on my left. I'm gonna imagine I'm holding a medicine ball. Come down, chest faces the ground, chest facing forward. So a slight knee bend, coming up. So side on, it will look like this. All right, and we can start the exercise down up. So I got 40 seconds of just standing on my left foot. Very, very controlled. If you want to make this exercise harder, you can actually grab a medicine ball, but I'm sure you'll be feeling this. Making sure that that base foot faces forward so we don't want an open foot. We got 10 seconds left on this set. Nice and controlled through here. Slight knee bend, 
chest faces forward, chest faces up. So we're gonna go to the right side, you got 20 seconds, catch your breath, but just make sure that when you are going down, your chest gets to this point right here, and then you come straight back up. So I'm on my right foot, hopefully you're also gonna be on your right foot. We got three seconds, make sure that base foot is straight, let's go. Down, slide, bend, come back up, down, come back up, nice and controlled. So you're not trying to rush through this, trying to build that balance. Single foot strength, I've said it a million times and I'll keep saying it a million more. Running is a single legged sport, you want to do a lot of strength work where you are on a single leg, developing that stability in each foot. All right, we're gonna go, again, going back to the calf, third exercise, I'll do it side on. I'm gonna have my hands forward just to help me balance. I'm gonna come onto my toes, but not as high as I can. I'm gonna come back, sit down, and come back up. Come back, sit down, come back up. All right, let's go together, hands forward. Come on your toes down and up. So I'm staying on my toes the whole time. What I'm trying to focus on is actually evening out the pressure. So I don't want too much pressure on my right, too much pressure on my left, even pressure between both feet. So you don't want to go as high as you can on the toes. You want to keep it nice and controlled about 80%. So the heels are off the ground. And you know, you're starting to feel it a little bit, but you don't want it to really hurt. All right, catch your breath, 20 seconds. We're gonna do that exercise again. So with that exercise, I know it's a bit hard to see, but I'm only getting to about this point here. I don't wanna be as high as I can on my toes. So if this is 100% for me, I wanna be at 80%, just here. Heels just off the ground. All right, let's go, same thing. Get on your toes, hands forward for balance. Come down, you don't have to come down too low. You can go a little bit lower. That would just get the quads and the glutes working a little bit. But you don't have to go too low. About here's a good spot. And then coming back up, very, very controlled. Finding that balance and stability in your feet. So a really good exercise to put a bit of tension on your Achilles. Make sure they're strong. Almost there. All right, well done. Coming down onto the ground, very basic, very basic crunches. The way I like to do them is I'll lie down flat, put my hands on my knees and just reach forward. So I'm not doing too much. I keep my lower back on the ground the whole time. All right, let's do it together. Let's go. So again, I'm not rushing through it, and I'm just sliding my hands along towards my knee. Very, very controlled. Just breathing through it. Should be feeling it a little bit now, hopefully. Keep my feet on the ground the whole time, heels on the ground especially. Almost there. All right, lie back down, catch your breath. 40 seconds of a core exercise definitely gets the heart rate going. Shake your legs a bit. We're almost halfway through this workout, so you're doing well. All right, deep breath, let's go. Very, very controlled. You're not looking to go as fast as you can, rather nice and controlled through it. You can look up so you can keep that way, your neck stays straight, but just breathe through that tension. This is good pain. It's the pain that's gonna make your core stronger and keep you running for longer.
Almost there. All right, well done. Halfway through the workout, you're doing well. If you do need a break, pause that video, have some water. Otherwise, we keep going back to those calf launch exercise. So I'm starting with my left first. All right, take a deep breath. Left foot forward, split second, split second. So just getting that strength up in your foot, in your calf, in your Achilles. So I'm putting that weight on, back foot off the ground. Make sure you transfer that weight. That's what happens when you run. So you wanna make sure you get that in this exercise as well. Very controlled, just make sure that you get to that one second of hold before you fall back. All right, catch your breath. We're gonna go exactly the same thing with the right foot forward this time. So when I do those exercises, a lot of focus goes into keeping that foot straight and not keeping and not getting it to open up because that's when I'm compensating. So if I'm doing this, it's a bit harder, but technically you'll be compensating. So straight lines as a runner. A lot of the running that we do is in a straight line. So we wanna make sure that our body is in a straight line as well and we don't waste energy to the sides. Again, flat foot. Just transferring that weight. Again, not a super hard exercise, but definitely gets that strength up. And your strength training is like you're running. There's a lot of base exercises that you wanna be doing. All right, well done. All right, let's go back to our left. Imagine holding that medicine ball, facing down to the ground, coming up. I'll do it side on. You got five seconds, so catch your breath. Plant that foot in the right spot. All right, let's go. Bend that knee, just a slight bend. Chest faces forward, coming up, down. So it's all about that chest position. That's why we hold that medicine ball, imaginary medicine ball, right next to that chest. So that way we know that our upper body is facing down and then faces forward while the hips stay in line. All right, so nice and controlled, breathing through it. You're almost there. Five seconds, you guys are doing well. All right, catch your breath, same thing on the other side. You can shake your legs a little bit. Breathe through it. All right, take a deep breath. All right, imagine that medicine ball is in front. Lean, come back. Coming down. So very, very controlled through it. You're almost there. Really hinge through the knee, through the hips while that knee is bending. Just breathe through it. Nice, nice and controlled. We're almost there. All right, check your legs. Last two exercises. This one again, coming up onto your toes. I'll go side on, coming up to your toes, coming down, about to this position and then coming slightly up. But the main thing is that 40 seconds, you stay on your toes, heels above the ground. Let's go. Slowly down, come back up. Just breathe through it. Again, make sure you're not 100% up on your toes, just about 70, 80% where the heels are off the ground. Nice and controlled through it. Last 15 seconds here. As you get stronger with this exercise, you would wanna to get to the point where you go a lot lower 
and engage other muscles as well. All right, catch your breath. But for now, you don't have to go too deep, you know, about this kind of, getting to about this kind of height will be kind of perfect. For now, when you get stronger, you definitely want to go a little bit lower. All right, catch your breath, five seconds. We're doing this one again. So feet underneath the shoulders, heels off the ground, slowly come down, slowly come up, come down, come up. You're doing well. Coming down. Control that balance. If you're losing balance, find a spot on the ground and then focus on that spot. Putting that weight forward a little bit onto the heels so you don't want to be falling back. That's why we got our hands in front of us. All right, well done. Last exercise, we got two sets of the basic crunches. So lying on the floor, we got 10 seconds, catch your breath. Bring that heart rate down, you're almost there. All right, let's go. Nice and controlled through it, don't rush. Usually when you do this exercise, to a certain amount of, like a certain number you're trying to go to, then you do this quick. So if you're trying to do 10 of them or 15 or 20 of them, you're trying to go as fast as you can to get to those 20. But when you're doing it on time, you rather want to control the effort, not go too quick. All right, catch your breath. So when you do an exercise like this, that is hurting a little bit and you are going to a time base in the end, you really want to slow it down and not that kind of usual, I want to get to 10 as quick as I can. All right, catch your breath, last one. All right, let's go. Almost there, I can definitely feel it. Breathing through it. Almost there. Whew. Definitely started feeling that last set. But yes, I mean, Again, a strength workout can be basic for somebody and then for somebody else it's very, very hard. Um, but the main, main thing with strength work for runners is that you do it consistently. So the strength workouts shouldn't be like super hard that they affect your running form. So I'm running later on today. I don't want a workout that will affect my running form because my glutes are tight or calves are tight. But it's about getting that consistency so you know you're keeping up that strength so when you are running or increasing your runs or going faster, that base strength is always there and that will help you stay injury free, run stronger and obviously go a little bit longer as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. Um, if you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next workout. Peace.